I need best girl or someone. I need someone to console me. Honey, I'm right next to you. Oh. I'm being subpoenaed. But you just gotta wait. So what is the court case even about? Jordan ran over Jean. Allegedly. Oh. Does she deserve it? Probably. Okay. So then what? They don't believe my statement. They imply that I, Nanny Machete, am a liar. That is the furthest what from the truth. Lie. Never. So... Wait, how are they being like you were lying when you weren't even being questioned properly? I don't know. But I am doomed. You're not doomed. Uh, Leah, I just need to let you know. What? That when I'm gone. You're not gonna be gone. Stop it. Just, just stop right there. When I'm in the prison. Ye okay. You're not in gonna In seclusion. Go to prison. Oh god. What do you mean they're gonna seclude Solitary. You? Oh, I dear. was acting up! I was acting up! I couldn't help it! Daddy <laughs> Machete's still alive somehow. How may I help you? I'm not happy. Why aren't you happy? I feel like you don't care about me anymore! <laughs> oh my god! I care so much! I'm gonna do it! No, don't do yeah, it! I'm doing it! Hey, can I get a taco? No, you don't, don't do it! No, I care! I was giving you space! I was doing the thing the girls do! The heteros... Exactly, the heterosexual Look, narrative. There's gonna be a lot of space in my skull after I do what I'm gonna do. Oh, yeah? Uh, cause you're gonna drive it over to me, and I'm gonna bash it out of your skull. bash what out of my skull listen i am a man with needs okay i'm a, i have needs what are your needs i need companionship and affection all right fine and you don't even you treat me like a dog <laughs> like i'm cute for a little bit and then you're you're sick of me and now fuck it whatever just feed him and wait till he dies and then i'll get another puppy no, listen, listen. Uh, I know I've been distant, but Jordan, it's been hard. Uh, you know. For me, my wife is divorcing me. That's great news. Good news for us, but I'm starting to wonder if there even isn't us. There isn't us. Or oh God. It's, you. it's not just a you. Listen, Jordan. I didn't want it to have to come to this, but. I guess I'm gonna have to ask you on our next date. You need to step up before I let up on my feelings. I won't stop those feelings. I won't ever let them get away. My feelings. I need you to make me feel like I'm feeling something for you. I'll make you feel like you're feeling something. Where are you? Feel something. Let me help me to feel. I'll help you feel. What's your 20? I'm ready to feel. What's your damn 20? Pink cage, not inside. Not the pink cage, the vanilla unicorn. Sometimes I get them confused. Why are you at the vanilla unicorn? I'm outside of the vanilla unicorn. Okay. All right. I'm on my way. All right, I'll be here with bells on. Hey, Leah, I have to go ring Jordan's bell. What? what? Um, are you okay? I'm trying to find a boyfriend. I, mean I don't advanced. think this is the best way to acquire one. You're telling me... It's I mean, you just walked up to me and asked what I'm doing, so... Well, I was worried. You were well, having a stroke. Nice gentleman will come check on me. 
and be like, are you okay? And I'll be like, yeah, I... now that you're here, and then we'll fall in love forever. Listen, I don't so think your body's supposed so to twist I'll like that. Like I'm sure it'll pr impress him, though, you know? All right, listen, I have to I have to go impress Jordan somehow. How do you recommend I do it? I find that very unlikely. Do this. Show him what your body can do. You know? <laughs> no! Oh, I'm actually not sure what to do. I don't have any poetry with me right now, so... Not a poem. Uh, to a fire. We got oh Jordan, god, what do I do? Inside the building. Jordan, do you, how many nephews do you have? Um, wait, is this a scene? Uh, it may be. I think this is a scene. They said Jordan Steele's nephew is in there? Uh oh. Am I losing my nephew? mind? I heard that too. Is it in Vanilla Unicorn? Let's go. What's the worst that could happen? Did you know he has a nephew that's a stripper? No. Is that him? Surely I would recognize him. Oh, there he is. No, his. No, I'm talking about his nephew. That's a oh stripper. god, Jordan. Oh my god. Well, well, if it isn't the machete to my steel. Well, well, if it isn't the steel to my machete. Mm, that's right. I've missed you. You're all I can think about when I'm not thinking about killing people. Yeah, same. You're all I think about when I'm not saving lives or ending them. Ending them? <sighs> Jordan. <sighs> I don't know what to do in being subpoenaed because you ran over Gene, allegedly. God, could you turn off your radio? It's just so yeah, distracting. Yeah, sure. No distractions. I'm here for you. Alright, look. So you're being subpoenaed. Yep. <sighs> it's not looking good, Jordan. Well, I guess that... You're just gonna have to make me sound wonderful. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to lie. You're just gonna have to help me win. Because here's the thing. <laughs> if Jean wins, she can legally make it so I can't marry ever again. Oh my god, I will not go unwed. I will not go unwedded yet again. I don't know. Jordan, listen. Okay, you, I'm looking. I need you to look into your soul and tell me what you were going to say. I will peer inside of myself at this moment and say what I was going to say. Alas, Jordan. I need you to listen to me right now. Okay, I'm listening. My ears have never been more open towards what you are going to tell me right now. And I am opening my heart to you. To tell you what you're open to receiving at this time. Oh, I just need you to know something. Okay, I'm knowing. I've never been more attentive towards a series of dialogue. Ever. Ever, ever. Really? Are you, are you seeing there's some chemistry between us, Jordan Steele? Oh, well, the last time I was involved with chemistry, I accidentally invented ecstasy. in the 90s and let me tell you <laughs> when I'm around you I feel like I'm on ecstasy how old are you? Uh, and when I'm around you I feel like the ketamine I steal from the hospital you have ketamine from the hospital? <laughs> you know I saw that on uh, Dr. House one time there was this episode where this crazy paramedic was stealing ketamine and Presented with. Why was the hospital? God, could you turn off that radio, please? It's yeah. very distracting. Can you please not distract him from our love? Hello, and goodbye. 
Anyways. Listen. Your love is my drug. And I'm ready to overdose. How about I'll be... You can be Whitney Houston, and I'll be Bobby Brown. And we'll, instead of crack cocaine, we'll get high on love. And you know, everyone's been talking about your reputation. Oh yeah, what have they been saying? Say you're an asshole, Jordan. That's usually what they say, but... Mostly... Mostly, yeah, mostly that you're an asshole, but... People say that about every great cop. Ah, uh, they Robo do. Cop, uh, Terminator, Walker, Texas Ranger. Mel Gibson. Sinead O'Connor. Sinead O'Connor. Oh, nothing compares to you, Jordan. Nothing. <sighs> the only thing that I could compare to you would be some sort of, if some sort of experiment went wrong and there was like a, someone was making a Frankenstein out of everything that I love but, and it went and it started murdering the whole town and I, the only way I could stop it is if I loved it to death. Hmm, so like, a mix of Jekyll and Hyde and Twilight? More like a mix of, uh, Pearl Harbor and, uh, ever seen that movie, Legion? I have. I and, haven't. Uh, Explosive. Our love is Boom. dynamite. It would be more like a mix of Speed 2 and Eternal Sunshine of the Spotless Mind. I am Miss Congeniality, played by Sandra Bullock, and I am the scene where I'm walking out of the airline hangar. Mm -hmm. yep. Do you know what scene I'm talking about? I haven't seen that movie. Okay, well, just picture a woman of average attractiveness. Uh, I would maybe even say below. Oh, because no. Because everyone looks not attractive. To me, after I've seen your beauty and gazed upon your loins. Oh, pork loin. Yeah, uh, pork loin. What? Listen. <laughs> Listening. I think that there's only one way out of this whole subpoena situation. All right, I'm all ears. <sighs> I think we have to kill Jean. All right, I'm, I'm down. I thought about it myself, Jordan. Trying to... I just don't see a way out of it. I don't see a way either. Damn her. God damn her. Damn her in her damn evil ways. She told me she was going to kill you. <laughs> I'd like to see her try. She told me the only reason that she's divorcing me is so that she can kill you and not be a witness. Not be a... Not... What is the damn word? Suspect. Suspect. That's the word. Suspect. Well, I'm gonna be suspected of a crime after I'm done with Jean. What crime is that gonna be? Crime of passion, Jordan. Mm. It boils within me, overflows like a volcano. My cup runneth over for one Jordan steel. Mm. Something else is going to be running over because of Jordan's seal as well. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Jordan, are you trying to touch me? No, I'm pointing. Oh, okay. Oh, me. Oh. Down there. Oh, pork loin. Oh, jeez. Listen, you and I, we need to go on a outing with romantic undertones. Okay. Demo, sure there's a word for it. Ah, uh, like, uh, yeah, I wish there was. 
Um, like one of those raisins, but not a raisin. Yeah, like a, you know. Anyways. <laughs> I All need right. you to- I want to be swooned. I want to be wined and dined. Alright, listen. I got something planned for you, big boy. Oh, that bed better be big because I'm a big boy. It will be big. It better be huge because guess what? This big boy likes He, I'm a big boy. Yeah, you're a big boy. I'm a big boy and you're my lady. My little lad lady. <laughs> a little lad. Little lady. Little lady, there we go. Well, not, I'm not calling you a midget. Yeah, please don't. You're average height. Thank you. You're average yourself. I'm Jordan, average. Jordan. Hush. I am going to take you on the most romantic, oh, undertoned experience of your life. Oh. Are you ready for it? I'm ready for it. Do you see this right now? This is me. I will die in the snow like that dog from that episode of Futurama. <laughs> waiting for your love. Your love is my drug and I'm a junkie and I will break into cars and steal radios if that's what it takes. To get my fix. Uh, I have a radio, Jordan. I don't know if you know that. Uh... But, but, thank you. Uh, I suppose I could oh, use I some would. backups. That's very practical of you, Jordan. Mm. Appreciate that you're thinking of me. Practicality is my middle names. Really? Mine is Lydia. Lydia? Yeah, Nettie Lydia. Uh. Machete, steal. Steal, machete. Hey, what happened to your, uh, partner? Eh, you know... Welfare check. Oh, that's no good. All right. Ah, thanks for looking out for me. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, that's. I will see you soon, my love. All right, my dear. Soon our love will roam free in the streets like a wild animal, high on PCP with a hatchet. <laughs> soon it will roar.